Hello, my name is Meryl Holland from Tulip Toppers. Um, now I would like to show you something. I'm calling this bling on a budget. Um, it's my way of using gilding flakes, mica powders and lots of other things and I'm going to try and prove that you don't have to pay a fortune to do this because I've devised a way where I think you'll agree when you see it that it really is budget but budget um, not in the way that it's finished when it's finished it looks stunning it's only budget in as much as you can afford to do it it's inexpensive now then what I've got here I have cut two shapes these can be cut from your nestabilities your, your big shop dies or anything now the secret to this is that this piece is just ordinary standard self adhesive paper it's not double sided adhesive it costs only a few pennies and that's all it is is single sided adhesive paper now then what and this is just an image that one of my images one of my steampunk images I've just printed it off um, onto some paper uh, and then just cut it out with the same die only slightly smaller now out of this I'm going to show you how to make a topper that looks very interesting but like I say it's bling on a budget now the first thing that you normally do with self adhesive paper is take the back off and stick it down well guess what on this one you are going to take the back off but you're not going to stick that down so what we're going to do now is you, you can actually stick this to a card before you start but I'll show you that later on the moment I'm making the topper just take the back just peel the back off when I'm halfway through this demo you'll be able to see where we're going and you'll think well it's so simple why hasn't anybody done it before now don't mind who uses this technique if you do use it could you just give me a little bit of credit for it because it is quite special right now as you can see now that is sticky that is not sticky so it's the right way up now then we take our topper and it will fit on nicely so you put your topper on and I could have done it as I was taking the back off but I'm, I'm I'll do that on the next demo. There we go. Now the topper is now on the self adhesive sheet. There you go. So we now take, let's take these red gold gilding flakes and as long as nobody sneezes, coughs, opens the door or whatever we'll be okay. However, just take your flakes and rub them round the edge. Coin Rolf Harris, can you see what it is yet? Because it's getting there. And you're going to go, yeah, of course. Simple. Right, so there we go. Rub it all in well in with your fingers. To those of you that are watching this from overseas or from the other side of the pond, I'm sorry, but my accent is called a Yorkshire accent. And I can't do anything about it. I've lived with it too long to give it up. It's still English, but it's Yorkshire. Right, I'll take that one now. Now just go take the excess off. Now you can do with your little brush or whatever you've got. You can even use a pan scrubber, even though certain crafting people say don't use it, but it's fine. Again, you're trying to do this on a budget so that everybody can afford every type of crafting. Not just those that are well off. Right, now pull that back. Now, that's, that's one way to do it. Now, can you see? Now, looking at that, you would assume that that gilding is underneath. You would also perhaps assume that it's maybe an expensive piece of Miracard or paper or whatever. It isn't. It's just cheap, inexpensive, ordinary, sticky back paper. Now, the way to put this on a topper, obviously, is now to stick on the back, the good side, and pop it onto your card or whatever. Or you can put it on with 3D foam pads, whatever you want to do and however you want to do it. So that's just one way to do it. Now I'm going to show you something else, doing basically the same thing, but that's number one. There we go. 
and later on I'll show you something else to do with that as well right now then on this one exactly the same piece of paper cut it a little bit short there but it doesn't matter a piece of paper but I've actually put this through the big shot using one of the embossability folders okay so we do exactly the same that's the but you want to get the sticky side so here we go this time we're not putting a topper on so again now we could go a little bit adventurous on this in fact I'll do something I wasn't actually planning it but I always wing it right just peel part of it back again put your flakes on Again, just rub it in. And you'll notice at the moment I've only taken half of it off. So there we go, we've taken the half off. And I'm sure you clever crafters know what's coming next. Pop that back. There you go. Alright, let's see if we can finish with that one just for a sec. open the gold one. Chinese or Indian takeaway containers are absolutely perfect for this. I do when I sell them I sell them in little poly bags and when you get them it doesn't look like much but when you open them up and put them in there they're fine. Right now here we are I'll put a little bit of silver on. Sorry gold colour blind. Now this could be I'm just doing this with gilding flakes, but this could be mica powders, which again I'll show you in another another demo, another video. And just remember that this is inexpensive adhesive paper. It's not double-sided or expensive or whatever. Put that back on there. And now I'm going back onto the Take the rest off. Now this could be a different colour, but as I've only got two pieces on the table, again, there we go. Same thing, always the same thing. Your brush, your sponge, little nail brush small toothbrush, anything. Just rub it in with your fingers first and then take it onto the oven to the next level. There you go. Now then. Oops. Heavy breathing and it's knocked it all over the table, however. Well, I hope you can get the, the impact of that on the camera. But that, can you see what you've done there? Now you could then, if you want, um, you could always put some alcohol ink on or, or something else, but nobody is going to be able to tell how you made that. And you couldn't buy a piece of paper like that. You just couldn't do it. And that's what it is. Inexpensive, single-sided, self-adhesive paper. Now I've been around in the business for quite a long time and I get known as Mrs. Self-Adhesive because all my designs were originally done on self-adhesive paper. So I've always had this love affair with self-adhesive paper so it seems only natural that I can now take it to the next level. I'm now going to show you something. In fact, no, we'll, co we'll call this the end of a video and then we'll start another one. So that's just the little bits on there. I'll now develop this onto another stage, into another part of it and I'll show you something now with the microflakes. So thank you for watching. Um, and have fun, bling on a budget.